I'm gonna show you a very quick, very easy way to create an underline for one word or multiple words in Elementor. And the underline can be unbroken, so it isn't gonna split when it comes to the descenders, it's just gonna be nice and even everywhere. It just takes a tiny bit of CSS, so let's do it. So all we have to do is go into our heading and choose the words we want to underline. Then we're gonna place them inside a span tag, just like this. Then we're gonna give it a class and we're gonna call that class underline. This class can be anything, you just have to target it correctly in the next step. And by the way, don't worry, all of this is going to be available down below so you can just copy and paste it in and change out what you need to change. So once we place all of the words we want to underline in our span tags and we give it the class, it's time to add in our CSS. So I'm going to go under advanced, custom CSS, and I'm going to paste it in here. You can also go into your admin bar, go under customize, additional CSS and paste it here. But I'm going to be working under advanced custom CSS. So I'm going to paste it in and you can see the underline appears. That's because I'm targeting the right class. If you change the class over here, just make sure it's changed over here as well. Now you're just gonna change out your color over here, change it to whatever you want, and then set the thickness over here. Since the unit that I use for this is EM, it's gonna be perfectly responsive. If you want to know everything you need to know about these units to use them like an expert, I have a great video explaining exactly that, the link is in the description. But basically, EM is gonna be relative to the font size. So if I make the font size bigger or smaller, the underline is gonna adjust accordingly. So if I make it 4 REM instead of 6, the underline also gets smaller. It's gonna scale up or down relative to the font size. So if I go back into my CSS, you can control how far apart from the actual text the underline is by changing this value over here. You can make it positive, so it's gonna go down more, or you can make it negative, so it's gonna move up. Again, I recommend using EM for maximum responsiveness and ease of use. You can pretty much get any kind of result you want by just adjusting these two values. You can see I have the text decoration skip ink set to none. If you want the underline to get broken up by the descenders, so by these parts of letters that extend below the baseline, so just like my Y over here or my G over here, just delete this part of the CSS. If this wasn't here, this would break them up, just like this. If I remove that, you can see it breaks them up. But if you remove this, you cannot offset the text underline. If you want the offset, keep it in. If you don't mind not having the offset, you can just go ahead and get rid of both of these and just have a broken up underline whose size you can fully control and have it be fully responsive. By the way, you can add this directly into your heading by just typing in style equals and then the properties instead of class equals underline. So you can avoid the whole class thing and adding in CSS over here, but I still prefer using classes because I can then use it throughout my website very easily. I will add an example of this down below as well. And this also works with text editors, but you have to go under text instead of visual. So text, and then you just paste it in and do the exact same thing as you did with the heading. The process is the same. If this video was helpful, make sure you check out this video next and hit that thumbs up button. Thank you for watching.